Another warm welcome, we're into 1003 official sample files from the animation reel and Google Earth Studio with Mike Downs. So in the Earth Forum, uh, Earth Studio Forum, we've got Patrick here, who's the product manager, who's shared um, the Earth animation reel, the map of the reel, and also how we can use these examples. I see... I do, I understand, up in yellow. I'm going to keep referring to this thing all the time because it's so important that we do and therefore we can understand because we remember it by seeing, but you get the idea. The point of it is this. If you go onto an animation reel that has been made, you might think, wow, that is really cool, and which it is. And then we need to know how to do it and how to copy it or how to think about it. So in this example, what we've got is it starts off with that. I'm not going to play all of it, I'm going to get to the bit that we actually wish to, and that is really simple, and that is when you go here, do 7 seconds, 8 seconds, 9 seconds, and you're into a little bit of New York here, it swings in beautifully, head, heads down, and then whops itself back up to a building, and that is it, and then you keep on going with this animation wheel, we've got tons and tons of examples. So what I'm getting here is that, just going back to this for a second, is there is a bunch of files put in Google Drive, and there is a three-pronged process. One, we've got access to the files. I'll put that in the YouTube description. You can look at the official Google Earth video, which is 70 seconds long, and it's wonderful, and it's had 130,000 views there. Also, top right, which I'm about to show you, is how you can learn. Now, the main thing is that when you open up that particular file from downloading it or saving it to your Google Drive and opening it, importing it into Studio, it looks like this. And let's just go and have a tiny little look at that because this is the thing about Learn Google Earth Studio because I'm showing you this. And if you are following this lessons or let's hope you've skipped forward and jumped back on whatever the, you know the deal is, and that is you've got this timeline with the playhead and you can see that the... Um, the camera and the viewport top left and you can click on tons and tons of different things and learn to see how these paths one of the things that I particularly like is the altitude because if you go in and you, you start off low and I didn't know this it goes up a little bit higher and then it drops down hits the bottom of the curve and then comes back up again to the buildings it's really interesting to see that and I want to you as the students if you you know feel the desire and I again I will not miss this process out I'd really look at the same if an experienced animator which I guess is an experienced animator had made this from the Google team why have they done it like this why have they got such beautiful serpentine curves in here this is the the north camera by the way and you can keep looking like that if you go to a speed graph you can see that we, we drop out oh look at that lovely lovely if you're into graphs and slides, look, it goes up, speed goes really fast, it goes a lot slower, it gets to the bottom, gets to the bottom, it goes really fast, and comes back up again. That's where I'm going to leave it. All I want to say is that if you looked at this three-pronged process, you watch videos, you, in this example, are allowed to look at the Google Drive um, files, which you can import into Google Earth. We'll do importing in a different video, but it's just file import. And then you can learn and look and copy and do. Next video, we are actually looking at sharing these files. So that's me done, and see you in the next one.